let's talk a little bit about the purses for uh, Terrence Crawford and the Mean Machine, Ingus Kavalaskis. We'll be back, good fella Sports TV. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. Appreciate the love, support. Um, just keep sharing the video. It's the best way to donate to the channel. And Terrence Crawford is making $4 million for this fight. Um, that's his fight guarantee. I think he may be also get a promotional cut for co-promoting the card as well, too. So that's a good payday, all right? Um, it's a good guarantee to fight on regular ESPN. Um, so, you know, they're keeping him happy some type of way. And financially, when you pretty much getting paid, you know, like that, and, you know, that's kind of, that was unheard of about 10, 20 years ago. Shit, the beginning of this decade, it was unheard of for somebody to get paid that amount of money for this caliber of fight on regular on regular cable TV. So that's a really, really good number. And if, you know, if they can if they can keep that up, you know what I'm saying, you know, before you know it, and he invests his money the right way, he'd be able to retire too comfortably. But Ingus a Kavalaskis, which everybody don't know what he getting, he is getting uh seventy five seventy five hundred excuse me. Seven hundred fifty thousand dollars for this fight. His uh, his uh purse has you know pretty much been unknown. But this, if he win, you know what I'm saying, his money gonna go up. But this probably a career high payday for him as well. So it's not a situation where you got two guys in here that that want four or five million dollars. If that was the case, this fight would be pay per view. If you had if he had a worthy opponent, but Ingus is ha happy with making uh almost a million seven hundred fifty thousand. And, you know, Crawford, I'm pretty sure is happy with making $4 million and probably a little bit on the back end as well, co-promoting the card. But, um, you know, top-ranked ESPN playing, paying well. You know, people forget that uh, Crawford, you know, he made more in his Amir Khan guarantee money than Errol Spence made, made in his last two pay-per-view perform. Well, I think, I can't remember the second one was. I think he had a $2 million guarantee versus Sean. And I think he had like a two or two and a half versus Errol. But he made a lot of money. You know, talk ESPN willing to pay the money is basically if Bob really did, willing to distribute the money the right way, because they had a ten him and him and Amir Khan Crawford and Khan had a ten and a half million dollar guarantee, and um you know why not go ahead and just get Sean Porter five you know and Crawford made five point five versus Khan and then you got to fight nobody can walk away for that money especially if they can sell it as a pay per view but for the rest of the card it's pretty much unknown as far. A financial how it's breaking down what Comey getting, what Lopez getting, what Mick Conlon and his opponent is getting. So, you know, I'm not sure. I couldn't find that information or didn't find it in, you know, I couldn't find it uh, in behind the scenes, which I really didn't go looking for from behind the scenes. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I'm pretty sure Comey getting paid like a champion should and Lopez getting paid like a prospect challenger should. So, Mick Conlon, he don't matter. They trying to push him, but he really can't fight. Uh, on a professional level, he's not that good. He one of those Zeus Shimmy like uh, amateurs that was, you know, they pay, they gave, they gave him the easy yellow brick road uh, way. So just because you're a good amateur, don't mean you're a good professional fighter. But it's good paydays for guys to be fighting on regular cable TV. But really, really, what it really boiled down to is that um, Bob Aaron distributing the money. Bob Aaron don't be wanting to pay nobody. That'd be the problem. Top rank got money. Because Walt Disney got money. Walt Disney, if it was up to them, they'd go out there and throw money out. But Bob want to take the money off top and pocket it. And you just got to wonder, what else can he buy in a lifetime? You know what I'm saying? You know, what do you, I mean, how many fucking, you know, suits and ties and, and shoes can he buy? You know what I'm saying? You can't do nothing with women no more. So, you know, you know, you just got to wonder. But good paydays for both fighters. Uh, don't forget tonight the fight going down. Uh, not sh uh, after the Heisman Trophy, I think you have a three fight car. You have Mick Collin and uh, the guy he fought in the Olympics. Then you have Lopez and Comey, and then you have Crawford and Ingus. So uh, I believe we'll probably be kicking off around nine, nine o'clock. The card. I think the fight tonight is Comey and Lopez for a lot of people's opinion. But don't sleep on this fight right here between Crawford and Ingus. Ingus ain't got nothing to lose. It's been a year to upset. People forget that. And uh, like I said before, it should be an action-packed fight. But once again, Crawford making four, four million. Ingus making seven hundred fifty thousand. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Reach out to the email if you got business questions, inquiry, sponsorship, video requests. Want to make a donation? That link subscription. Best way to donate to the channel is share, share the video. Appreciate the love, support, man. Let me know what you guys think about the purses. One time for the one time. It's your boy CJ Goodfellow, Goodfellow Sports TV. We go.